This week, as part of the RHS's Grow at Home This Autumn campaign, we're celebrating autumn foliage. We'll be sharing tips on the plants to choose for your gardens, how to grow them at home, and of course, highlights from the five RHS gardens. It's early in the season and lots of the colour from trees and shrubs is still to come. But did you ever wonder where that colour comes from? Well, thankfully, science has the answer and it's a lot to do with the British weather. Well, these leaves may look green, but inside the fiery colours of autumn are hidden. That's because they're masked by the green pigment chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the one that makes energy for the plant from the sunshine in the process of photosynthesis. At this time of year, deciduous trees and shrubs start to shed their leaves in preparation for winter. The chlorophyll is broken down and reabsorbed as a plant nutrient. As this happens, the colours underneath are revealed. Carotenoids are both orange and yellow and they had a role in photosynthesis. And yes, you guessed it, it also makes carrots orange. The second pigment is anthracyanin and that's purple and reds. They were both products of photosynthesis. These also make red wine red and blueberries blue, but it's pretty slim pickings at this time of year. Different concentrations of these pigments result in different dual-like colours in autumn, but the intensity is very much due to the weather conditions. Take anthracyanins for an example. High light levels from sunshine mean that things like apples go red, and you can see that red is on the top, and when you look at the fruits, they've got a sunny side and a dark side. Low but not freezing temperatures increase the levels of anthocyanins and inhibit sugars being taken out of the leaves and these are converted into pigment. And finally, low rainfall is thought to make for higher levels of anthocyanins as the surplus sugars are not converted into pigments. Well, the weather in Britain is generally dull, overcast and cool, so hardly ideal for the best displays, unlike the conditions that you get in New England in America, where they get amazing autumn colour. Climate change too is making us wonder how will autumn displays change? We know we're going to get wetter winters and drier summers, but it's likely the variable conditions will make our autumns even more variable in terms of their autumn colour. So the ideal conditions for dazzling autumn displays are dry, sunny autumn days with no wind and cool nights. Well, of course, gardeners aren't going to let the weather stop them. And certainly when you come to an RHS garden, you'll see some amazing autumn colour. At home, though, if you want more autumn colour, it's about choosing the right plants and putting them in a sunny spot. This is one of my first and favourite choices. It's a little cherry tree called Prunus cogenome. Bright orange in the autumn, just coming now. And of course in spring, masses of flowers. So it's a two season wonder. Euonymus salatus, or the spindle bush, is a great shrub for small gardens. It has these fantastic red foliage, pinkish hue, and you get orange berries as well. My final choice is a hydrangea. Most will colour up pretty well in autumn, but this one is really good. It's the oak-leaved hydrangea, hence the shape, and it's hydrangea quercifolia. This one's quite a big specimen, but you could equally keep it down to about 1.2 metres or so, and so ideal for a smaller garden. It'll even colour up quite well in shade, this one too. Well, that's just three options. Of course, there's plenty more inspiration on the RHS website. And if you go to the RHS Plants website, you can buy them too. Well, this autumn, we hope you enjoy growing at home, whatever the weather. <laughs>